Hey guys, it's Anna. Bienvenido otra vez mi canal. If you're new here, what is up? I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this as part of like the walkthrough at Dollar Tree or if I'm going to make the haul completely separate, like a separate video. I'll probably keep it together. So I'm going to do a haul of everything that I got from Dollar Tree the other day. I was just so tired yesterday when I came home, so I just dropped down the bags. But today I'm going to show you guys what I picked up. It's supposed to be like a winter weather advisory all weekend so winter storm weekend um it's snowing a tiny bit right now so the lighting in here is not the best but once again i'm sitting on the floor in my little office room anyway so yeah and i have like basically no makeup on i just have dollar tree elf blush on my cheeks a little bit and then i have on some of my favorite lipstick ever it's the lipstick queen lipstick this one is the highway 66 and it's like a really scary color <laughs> until you put it on and it looks like this so love lipstick queen you guys know i always pick these up from tj maxx and marshall's i have four four one two three four five bags of stuff that i got from dollar tree the other day um I told you guys while I was there or I was about to go in that I was technically on a budget. I don't know why I'm like this. I was on a budget yesterday while I was at the store and usually I'm not. So I pick up anything and everything I see and I'm usually spending like $100 in Dollar Tree every time I go. Like it's bad. Um, so this day, yesterday, I was on a budget and when you put yourself on a budget and you walk through Dollar Tree, it's like everything looks so much different to you. <laughs> so now I see what everyone's talking about when I bring all this stuff home. Because I was like, if I can only spend $40, I'm not trying to get all these like randomness. So you guys know I love picking up holiday signs. I was going to get so many more of the Valentine's Day signs, but they just weren't like all that great to me. I was trying to save the majority of my money in case I found good stuff in the school supplies or like the stationary type stuff and in the makeup section. I ended up going over budget anyways because people love adding stuff to my cart even after they tell me that I'm on a budget. So that's cool. First things, the first two bags are going to get knocked out of the lineup pretty quickly here because there's only one thing in these bags. So here's my Dollar Tree bags. Here's the first one. These. They had full shelves of these. I wanted to get so many more of these, but like I said, I was on a budget and I already had people and adding a ton of stuff to my little basket cart thing. <laughs> I wanted to get a handful of these because they are limited edition, but I could only get two. It's just the Star and Stripes limited edition cranberry ginger ale. I love ginger ale. I love ginger ale. I love ginger ale. I love ginger ale. But cranberry ginger ale, even better. And these are ginormous. My stores are $1.25 now, which is annoying. So I got those of the cranberry ginger ales. So that was the first two bags. So now we're down to three. This bag right here. Thumbnail. Just a few Valentine's Day goodies in this bag. I love picking up the holiday tins. Like, I will pick these up before signs, um, like the wall decor wall hangs or whatever, because I love these. I have stuff specifically that I need these kind of for. So with each season that changes, if I don't have one for the season, then the stuff just like gets sitting in like my plain ones that I got from Dollar Tree a while ago, just the plain little tins. But these ones from the Valentine's Day section are cute. These are the only two different patterns that I saw for these so far. So someone can let me know if there's more of these to be found, but I picked up just one of each. Should we kind of keep track of how much I spent? I But I think I already told you guys earlier, I spent like, I think it was a total of 61. Slightly over budget. But we're gonna count how many items got thrown into my bag, my little, basket some valentine's decor because these were super cute out of everything these were some of my favorite finds so these are just 
you know, the like little plaque pieces. At first when I saw them laying down, I was like, I know these aren't gonna stand up. They stand up perfectly. And I've said before that I really like these because if you have a little random space on like your bookshelves or your countertop or your windowsills and you just don't know what to put there, these little decor pieces are like the perfect thing to take up space. So here's this one. I only found two different versions of these. Loads of love special delivery. And then this one says hugs and kisses fast and free delivery. How cute is that? So this is like more of a red and then this one's like pink. How cute are these? But again, if there's anything that I'm showing and I only got like two or three up and there's more colorways, please let me know so that I can go back to Dollar Tree. And similar to those, I had to pick these little guys up. So these are like the little delivery trucks. So here's the red one, just says love and be mine on it. I feel like they didn't need to add the be mine, but there it is. But I really like them because they're like metal. Just the back is just plain. And even this like string is like a type of wire. So you can adjust it. You could take it off of that too if you wanted. And then here is the little love buggy. What does it say on there? Heartbreaker. Sure. So the pink and the red version of these little cars and again this one's just white on the back but these are so cute they're just like small like they're cute does this, this one messed up a little bit oh this one's kind of messed up on the wheel a dollar 25 they could have been a little bit more grande but first thing numero uno the first number one thing that got added to my basket that was not for me was these i don't even i hate gummy bears i hate the texture of these things so these definitely were not for me i will keep that separate because it wasn't for me. the valentine's day cookies that you guys saw me mention did i only grab two i think i grabbed three because i wasn't sure if i was gonna like them it's very possible that these are disgusting I kind of want to try one right now, but I also don't want to be anger if um, they're nasty. So I picked up the pink and the red. That might be all I got because I was scared they were going to be nasty. We'll see if we come across any more, but so far that's, I just got the two. There's a lot. So the only signs that I got so far for Valentine's Day, there were other ones that I did want, but since I was there on a budget, <laughs> I had to be like really picky. So, so far, these are the only ones I got. Um, and these like aren't really my favorite. <sighs> They're okay, okay? Mainly because I love anything that's like lock and key. I just, it's like my thing. I love skeleton keys. So that's mainly why I gravitated towards these. Uh, just as the key to happiness is love. <laughs> so <laughs> there's this one. And then I got the pink version, or wait, are they both red? This is the pink and this one is the red so same thing just with a different quote you hold the key to my heart um i'll probably keep them like this for now but at some point i'll probably deconstruct this and change it up a little bit but i also like that this is an actual cut out section for the keyhole i just thought it was cool um but they're blank on the back and it's got glitter but it's not too much glitter you know it's like a little bit more minimal of a glitter situation this bag has all the stuff that was not for me here's some more of the gummy bears like i just said i hate the texture of gummy bears so these were not for me so two of these ones because they're the blue raspberry so it's just a pack of like a single flavor i'm sorry the glare is kind of like getting that bag pretty badly so there's three items that were not mine so <laughs> two bags the sir loves gum, so whenever we go to Dollar Tree, it's like gumball heaven in there. So, oh, I thought the bag was already open. I was about to be so mad. Um, two of these very cherry gumball. So what are we at? Five items. That's more than five dollars because now stuff's a dollar twenty-five. Some more gumballs. The little miniature. -y. ones these ones oh ew this was a bad bag unless they got kind of broken in just moving it around i had never seen these ones there before i don't think these are the magical rainbow bubble gums 
And if you look on the back, it just says Tutti Fruity Strawberry and Magical Sour Burst in it. But there's like barely any gumballs in here. So that should be fun for somebody. Who buys grape gum? Apparently we do. I didn't pick this out. So again, throw it into my basket even though I was on a budget. And then a handful of beef jerkies because someone wanted beef jerky. So we got two of the Slim Jims. How many items is that now? Two of these, which is actually, I don't know. Is this the same brand that they usually have for these? It's the Trails Best Beef and Cheese Sticks. I feel like there was usually a different brand of them. Was it usually Slim Jim brand? I don't know. But two of those that have the cheese and the beef jerky in it and some more beef jerky. Just two of these in the original flavor. I didn't pick those out. Now back to the stuff that I did pick out. So got some snacks that I've never seen there before. I probably should have got two bags of these because I have a feeling I'm really gonna enjoy these. These are the papitas de casa. Potato chips, chili limon. My mouth is like already watering. Con chili limon. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, like I'm literally gonna try this right now because I have to. So I picked these up. I've never seen these there before and I've never seen these there before. I don't even know what these are. Botanico Aritos. Wheat snack with chili powder and a artificial lime flavor. So, botana de trigo con chile. Polvo y sabor artificial a limón. Chili and lime. I guess we're just gonna try this stuff right now. I should get hand sanitizer, but it's all right. It's okay. Hmm. They're not bad. It's really powdery. Mm. They tried for a dollar twenty-five, and if I was hungry, but I don't think I would crave these. They're all right. Let's try these ones. These ones might be weird because they're wheat. I like that they're little onion-like rings. Yeah. Mm. These though are amazing for a dollar twenty-five. So good. The crunch on these is so good. But the bad thing about these is they're like so weightless that I just want to throw them all in my mouth. Like, I will probably eat this whole bag in, like, an hour, if that. And they're not the best for you. Total carbs, that's a joke, right? 20 grams, and that's only for a little bit of this. <laughs> 53 grams of carbs, I think, in this entire bag. Whatever. They're really good. We're on a trying stuff spree, so I'm going to try one of these cookies. I'm almost done showing you guys what I got anyway. I hope that these cookies taste like the ones from Starbucks. That's what I was hoping for. Mmm. 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 Yep. These are good. They're, like, kind of dry. But... They're the right amount of softness. Mmm. I was scared that they were going to taste like those puffy cookies that you get from, like, just about anywhere. I was thinking of, like, Walmart. But they're better than those. Oh, my God. Worth it. No bueno. But they're good. Okay. Last bag. This is something that was actually on my wish list from Dollar Tree because you guys know I have a ton of plants. These were very much needed. I almost bought these from, I've almost bought them from, Do uh, not Dollar Tree, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Amazon, and now they're at Dollar Tree for only $1.25. So these are plastic, 
I guess that kind of makes them better than the glass ones because I always get scared when I put them down into the dirt of my plants that sometimes I'll crack it. Got two green ones. Two green ones and they're large. Maybe they'll make other sizes too, but I only saw this one size. Um, so here's the blue. I just got two green, two blue this time. So a total of four. So here's the different. I guess I can take them out of the bag. Here's the green. It's just plastic. <laughs> um, like look how long they are too. The blue. They had pink also, but I just didn't want pink. Um, I wish they had clear. I would have gotten a ton of clear. For now, I just got the four total of just these two colors. But I'm really happy about those. Oh, I knew it. I knew there was another one of these. What's funny is I dropped one of these out of the basket and I was hoping that no one would know that, but I guess they found it and put it back in the basket. <laughs> a third. How many items is that now that like were not mine? Also, this wasn't really mine, but this is a good find. It's a candle, what do they even call this? Candle snuffer. So um, I showed this in the walkthrough. Also, there was the different colors of this one. You just, great for safely extinguishing candles with no mess. You just use it to put out the candle. But I like that it's only a dollar twenty-five, or it should be a dollar, dollar twenty-five, because these get kind of dirty pretty quickly. So you don't want to spend too much money on these. But that's nice. Love that. Back to snacks. I only got one thing of candy, and I actually found this up by the register. I don't think I've ever seen these before, because I feel like I would have wanted to try them before. Mini sour carnival pops. Seven count goes from sweet to sour. So I'm not going to try these here. Sour apple artificially flavored. But they just look like these. I don't know why, but like I kind of want to like these like a lot. I'm trying to show them like right here where it's like white. Easier to show it. <laughs> or up against the black. I hope these are good. I picked up another pair of these or like pack of these socks these are great this is probably something that i will pick up every time that i go to dollar tree because i actually really like these socks they're the juncture brands women's full cushion quarter socks more spandex for a teen shape um i guess they have different sizes on there sure but you get three socks for a dollar 25 yeah so those are great then <laughs> These are for me and I do need these, but technically I didn't want to pick these up and I had to still count these as part of my um, budget, which is annoying, but whatever. So I got a set of screwdrivers. There was a ton of like stuff to add into a little toolkit. So this was actually pretty good for $1.25. So hopefully these are like sturdy in their little handles. It's a six piece screwdriver set. So you've got your Phillips heads and your flat heads. And you've got different sizes so that's pretty nice like this is a large container little package yeah these feel like they're pretty well made hmm huh. so I'm like always trying to like fix stuff up in here and like organize in here and so i'm always putting furniture together in here and um i'm always asking for screwdrivers and there's never screwdrivers for me so that's why he grabbed tools so that I have my own tool kit so that I'm not using his. Like, okay. So now I need a container. I should have grabbed some of those containers. And I literally said it in the aisle when we were checking out. I was like, wow, now I have something that I needed those containers for. But I couldn't go back and grab the containers. So that's kind of annoying. But it looks like this is from like the same collection because like the packaging is the exact same. It, does this have a brand on it? It just says Green Briar on the back but you can see how the packaging is the same. This is the hex key set. So you've got nine pieces. Oh, this like kind of broke a little bit, but it's even in a little organizer that they all fit together and stay together. <gasps> look at that. Wow, look at me, I'm cool. Do we see this? This is actually a really good buy, like a really good buy. This would be a really cute little gift for someone. 
um same packaging also for this i think there was also a big measuring tape but i didn't really need it but now i kind of wish i got it this is just a three-piece tool set two screwdrivers and one little mini tape measure how cute is that this tape measure though is like a really good size to keep in your purse so not gonna lie i think i might actually do that because you know when you're shopping a lot me when i'm buying containers and i don't really know if it's gonna fit somewhere it would be nice to have so that's probably going to go in my purse look at that it's so cute and small there's probably smaller ones that you could put in your bag but that's really nice then you get these like hefty screwdrivers so you get the phillips head and the flat head I always check them to make sure they're not like wiggly in the handles, but those are nice. Same packaging, so it looks like the like, same little collection. And I got one last thing. Um, these are just really small, like baby ones. Precision screwdriver set. Why did this have to crack? Okay, well the plastic kind of cracked on it, but it's funny because someone just bought a set that looks like this from Amazon, and this was a dollar twenty-five, and I think they spent like. 16 20 dollars on this tool bench hardware magnetic Does this say green briar green briar yeah but so that's a nice little set there like i said there was a screwdriver i think they were also might have been i don't know why i talk like that i think there was also a few other little pieces but that was all that i really needed then i only got one thing from the stationery or school supply section it was just these gel pins you guys saw these in the walkthrough too they're just drop brand eight pieces i got these two hopefully write well on some of my darker cloth and paper sticky notes so we'll see how these go i like there's a lot of different colors in here we're gonna see how these go on my cloth and paper stuff my hair i don't have product in my hair because i was gonna color my hair i was gonna color my hair this weekend and then it hasn't happened yet but yeah this is good for only a dollar 25 you get eight different colors gold and silver are really what i was hoping for so we'll see how those go all right then i showed you guys a handful of like the makeup stuff that was there but a lot of it was like i've seen before and i probably already picked up a different day so the only thing that i grabbed makeup wise from ioni brand was this little mask brush right now i only got one of these because i want to see if i'm actually going to reach for it and actually use it i should because i don't like putting my fingers into like my jars of face products so that's why I like this a lot. For a dollar twenty-five, Ioni's just like killing it at Dollar Tree. So it's just the like silicone. I don't know why I held it like that. The silicone applicator, Ioni brand. And I picked up the ones that I said in the walkthrough I was gonna grab. So I got the tinted lip balm from Ioni moisturizing tinted lip balm, hydrating lip balm packed with natural. Emollients to nourish dry chapped lips slightly tinted for a natural flush look. And I already have something on my lips, so can't really try it out. This is a very plain packaging, but I like the colorway of it. Ooh. Okay. Oh, it's very lightly colored. And that was the only color I think I saw of that one. And then I picked up the clear lip gloss shine on this moisturizing non-sticky clear lip gloss can be worn alone for a natural look or on top of your favorite lipstick to make a bold statement I have an instagram they have like social media so that's cool i guess the backing is gonna go in my planner do you see this it's like holographic <laughs> okay this gloss though we can try out again it's plain which i like oh okay oh this is nice Oh, that's like a chunk. Mmm. Oh no, I spilled it out. It's nice. Wow, it's not sticky at all. It's like a formula that you would get in like a roller ball. Mmm. Does this smell weird? It smells like makeup. Oh my gosh, it's really moisturizing. Look, I can have you ever seen someone rub lip gloss into their hands like it's lotion? It's like really nice and oily. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Did I just like discover something or is that not good? <laughs> it doesn't smell bad. It just made my skin really nice. I know you probably can't tell, but it made my skin so soft. Okay. 
Anyways, so that is everything from this Dollar Tree haul. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. But also, don't forget to let me know if there's any more colorways or colors of any of the stuff that I picked up. Let me know so I can be on the hunt for it. Let me know what your favorite signs are for Valentine's Day this year because I'm probably going to pick up a few more. But I'm going to go because I want to play with my planner. I got to put this stuff away and I got to finish eating my chips and my cookie. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this haul. A little bit of a walkthrough at Dollar Tree. Hopefully the footage is okay for that because I haven't even looked at it yet. So yeah, muchísimas gracias for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Mm, mm, mm. These are good. These are still good. I could sit here the next five minutes i don't eat this they're not spicy though which i wish but the texture is just good mm -hmm.